the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom. Yeah. Of its welfare and of its exaltation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and hereby claims the allegiance of every Irish man and woman. Yes. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunity to all its citizens and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all its parts cherishing all the children of the nation equally. Yes. Yeah. And oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government which had divided a minority from the majority in the past. Until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government representative of the whole people of Ireland and elected by suffragists of all our men and women. The, prov the provisional government hereby constitutes will minute our minister the civil and military affairs of the Republic and trust of the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God. Yes. Whose blessing we invoke upon our arms and we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonor it in kindness, inhumanity or rapine. In the supreme hour, the Irish nation must, by its valour and discipline, and by the readiness of its children, to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Yes! yes. Signed on behalf of the provisional government, Thomas J. Clark, Sean McDermott, Thomas McDonough, Patrick H. Pierce, Eamon Kant, jo James Connolly, and Joseph Plunkett. Yeah. And I'd like to finish by reading Article 1 of the, the Sovereign Doll in the Sovereign Constitution, the Constitution of the Irish Republic, or the Republic of Ireland, excuse me. Article 1. The sovereignty of the nation is inalienable. It is therefore not within the confidence of any generation of the people to surrender that sovereignty which each generation holds in trust for the nation. The question of surrender of the national inde independence may not be submitted to an electorate. <laughs> Subject to that fundamental principle, it is hereby declared that all authority in Ireland, legislative, executive, judicial, and all powers of the government are derived solely under God. Yeah. Yeah. From the people of Ireland, these powers are inherited and the people alone by virtue of their sovereignty they must be exercised in accordance with the principles of liberty, equality and justice for all. Any legislation not in accordance with these principles is hereby to be declared null and void. Oh, yeah.